Hi, Manita. How are you doing? Very good, Divya. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you for making time for this. I was uh, really looking forward to this. I'm so glad we finally managed to meet and do this. Uh, I would start with a quick introduction of what this series of Simplest Talks is about. So uh, this is a talk show and an avenue for me to speak to leaders candidly on various subjects. Today, we will be talking about how we can improve DNI, diversity and inclusion by providing more leadership opportunities to women. But uh, before we start our conversation, Vanita, can we have a quick, quick introduction of yours? Sure. Well, thank you for having me on, Divya. I'm looking forward to our chat. Me too. I'm Vanita Panarasi. I'm the Senior Director of Engineering at Build Design. I've been in technology all my life, and I've been leading software teams for over 25 years now. Okay. All right. Thank you for the introduction, Vanita. So I think we are good to begin the conversation. So as we start this conversation, my uh, first thing that I would like to hear your thoughts on is, do you think it's important to recognize leaders as women leaders or attach gender to leadership roles? I would give anything to say no to this, that we should not have to differentiate in gender at leadership, but that's not the truth. Um, We've come a long way in our workplace since our early days from when we were hunter-gatherers. But we still do not have equal representation for women. And the only way we can do this is to bring about more women leaders. And if we bring in more women leaders, it will flow through to bring in more equal representation within the company. And this just shows us that um, having more women on board helps the companies in many, many ways not just because it's equal representation of your customer at your marketplace, right? But also that it brings around certain areas and expertise that has not been in the workplace before. And the best way to bring about that change is to start at the top. Right, that's that's pointed out very rightly. Uh, So, uh, Vanita, do you, with a lot of, um, I believe that you also have a, lot of diversity embedded in your personality and life. So I would like to know what has your journey been like with the space of DNI? I have had a wonderful and exciting journey. I started very young in management. That was decades ago. And uh, at that time, uh, people have been encouraging. People have been skeptical because of my nationality and my gender. And uh, people have stereotyped me, thinking because you're Indian, you will say yes all the time. Um, Of course, after they spent some time with me, that notion disappeared. But navigating to all of that has been hard at times. But with the support I've got from people, it has made all the difference. So I've had an amazing, amazing journey. But with the inclusive support that I've got from my mentors and other sponsors. Okay. Uh, I'll just pick up the thread from here, what you just mentioned. So I think uh, diversity and inclusion has multiple layers on it. And I believe it's a very personal human concept and hence doesn't have clear distinctions. Every person and place has its own influence and coming to you, talking about you, uh, do you think your origin, which is Indian and workplace being Austin, has made a difference to how you perceive things and react to them? Absolutely. Um, you get a different perspective of the picture, things that people take for granted because they don't see anything different. You know because you're looking at it from the outside and it makes you um, understand and support other people who are different. But the experience, the fact that you're different matters. When I started as a working woman, I did not understand the challenges faced by working mothers till I became one. And then, oh my God, I got to understand it. But the more and more you experience this, Divya, the more you understand and you learn to not just encourage, you learn to celebrate diversity and inclusion. Right. Uh, so 
Uh, you talked about your uh, challenges as well. You mentioned that you also had your own set of challenges. So, Anita, I want to ask, what are some of the challenges that you have witnessed personally faced by you or women, which comes in their way of turning into leaders? That is a great question. Uh, there are certain things that you do that you're judged for because of the way you do it as a woman. You're considered too aggressive or too driven. But if you don't do it, if you're, you're judged too. That's then you're, judged, you're too weak to be a leader. And then you have a third dimension because your personality as a woman makes you feel like in hard situations that you feel the emotion and you don't want to take action in a certain way. So juggling be between all of that and balancing all of that even on top of all the other difficulties you face, right? Because men have challenges too. I don't take that away. But the workplace has become more defined and reflects more of their personality and characteristics. So women are making an impression right now, but we have a long way to go. And when we do that, then I think it will be easier for women later. All right. Uh, do you want to add something how organizations can do it or how if you have personally done something towards it in order to make it make the way a little easier for women to reach the ladder up? Absolutely. This is something that's very close to my heart. One of the challenges I faced that I talked to you about as a working mother, you have um, the demands that work and life make on you. Especially in India, it's not just your family and children, you have your aged parents, and all of this takes time, which is difficult for you to balance and makes you stop in your growth as a career. So I've been passionate about it, and Simprit's India HR has been very supportive, and we're looking to roll out a program to help working mothers uh, in a higher level of their career in management. So by our program, Divya, we are welcoming back working parents, mothers, people who would like to work on a flexible part-time schedule, still in the management level. And I think that will be a game changer for us. Yes, it will be. It absolutely will be. And I'm sure a lot of women hearing us will be very happy to know this. I hope so. Yeah. And I'm also very proud of... Um, how you're thinking, how you're thinking to make uh, life easier for women despite their personal rules. So, truly happy about it. <laughs> okay, so, Vanita, just one last question before we conclude this conversation. Uh, how do you think having more women in leadership positions will improve the whole landscape of diversity and inclusion? Or if I can say in simpler words, how will it make the organizations more diverse and inclusive? That's an excellent point. Think about it, Divya. If you look at India, look at schools and colleges, we have equal representation both from men and women, right? And if you look at education, especially in competitive education, women have the edge. But as you go up the levels, you see women drop off more and more as we move to leadership levels. And the best way I believe we can tackle this is by bringing on women leaders who understand the challenges and the problems women face and hence can help encourage bringing up women at all levels. So as I was saying before, we start in the top and we bring about that equal representation. And I think by bringing that equal representation, we bring on uh, the skills that women have in time that the workplace has been missing and will make a company way more successful. Right. Uh, all right, Vanita. So I think it was a very insightful conversation, a very short, crisp, and yet very insightful and impactful conversation. And uh, I really thank you for uh, joining me today and taking out time for this conversation. I totally love this. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks for your time, Divya. Thank you. I hope our audience enjoys this too. And uh, I'll soon be back with another episode. Until then, stay tuned and stay well.